Muhammad Ali, the world's greatest boxer to ever live, stood firmly in his religious convictions and challenged America's status quo when he refused induction into the United States Army. He did so as a conscientious objector to the Vietnam War. On June 20th, 1967, he was convicted of draft evasion, sentenced to five years in prison, and stripped of his heavyweight title. Up until the late 1960s, no woman had ever been allowed to compete in the Boston Marathon, a sporting event that had been around for nearly 70 years at that point. This all changed when a young woman named Catherine Switzer registered under the name K.V. Switzer and began to run. There were several attempts to forcibly remove Catherine from the race solely because she was a woman, but she withstood any and every attempt to stop her. With a heart and mind filled with determination, Catherine finished the race, becoming the first woman to ever compete in and to finish the Boston Marathon. To protest the death of Trayvon Martin, an unarmed black teenager who was shot to death in Sanford, Florida, on February 26, 2012, members of the Miami Heat, including LeBron James and Dwayne Wade at the time, wore hooded sweatshirts during one of their pregame ceremonies. This was the exact same attire that Trayvon Martin was profiled, shot, and killed in. They did this to raise awareness about the too often and frequent shootings of unarmed black men throughout our country. So, what do these historical moments have in common? They all demonstrate turning points in our nation's history that challenged the status quo, awakened our collective consciousness, and changed the trajectory of our society's priorities and how we deal with our most prominent issues. And it was all done through the platform of sports. Not only are sports an exciting form of competition, entertainment, and an electrifying display of athletic prowess, they also serve as a platform for change, social awareness, education, development, and most importantly, philanthropic opportunities. At the 2000 Laureus World Sports Awards, world-renowned social rights activist, politician, and philanthropist Nelson Mandela stated that sports has the power to change our world, not just our local community, not just our nation, but the entire world. I'm here today to educate you on how and why sports will not only change our world for the better, but also how we can single-handedly save our humanity. Sports are, and always have been, an integral part of our society. They are universal language that transcends the barriers of race, religion, socioeconomic status, cultural differences, and even our political beliefs. Sports unite us. They empower us. They inspire us. They even help us to create lifelong memories that produce sacred bonds. Sports have shaped our past, they're shaping our present, and they will be playing an even bigger role in shaping our future. Now more than ever, we have the opportunity to witness the platform of sports become increasingly responsible for raising awareness about our society's most complex issues. And it's not just awareness being raised. Solutions are being found too. Baltimore is a beautiful yet often misunderstood city filled with resilient people that want nothing more than to see their city prosper. But like any other city, it has its fair share of issues. In 2013, the unemployment rate for black men between the ages of 20 and 24 was 37%. Just 13% of black males in Baltimore City has a college degree. And although African Americans make up 60% of Baltimore's population, roughly 85% of those incarcerated there are black. And I have issues with that. Next one up, a Baltimore-based nonprofit and mentorship program that uses sports to empower high-risk black males in Baltimore City is reversing these statistics. Since the program's inception in 2009, they've been able to do some remarkable work for over 120 youth every single year. 100% of their mentees have graduated from high school on time. 100% of their mentees have been accepted into a two or four year college program. 92% of their mentees either matriculate into college and those that don't take on a trade through one of Next One Up's workforce development programs. And lastly, 93% of their mentees report that their involvement in a sport and next one up has made them a better person and a better leader. Believe it or not, programs, campaigns, and initiatives 
that use sports as a medium are making a substantial impact in our fight to save our humanity. For example, FIFA, the governing body for international soccer, has recently shifted its social responsibility focus and has made major changes to its disciplinary code to tackle racism and discrimination. They've enforced a zero tolerance policy that now holds fans, players, and hosting countries accountable for any acts or forms of discrimination. Peace Players, a nonprofit that uses sports to educate young people on ways to create a more peaceful world, has been able to impact over 75,000 youth globally. They have successfully implemented conflict resolution programming and have taught peace building methodologies in areas such as Israel and Palestine, Belfast, Ireland, and Durban, South Africa. NFL vet and all-pro wide receiver Brandon Marshall was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder in 2011. For years, he let emotional instability creep its way into his life, his career, and his relationships. Since then, Brandon has taken control of his own narrative and has become one of the most prominent and influential figures in the mental health community. He even co-founded Project 375, an organization that is raising awareness about mental health, reversing the stigma that surrounds it, and raising funding for treatment. The US women's soccer team has continued to spearhead the movement towards gender equality and equal pay. In July 2019, after winning their fourth World Cup title, 28 members of the team filed a lawsuit against the US Soccer Federation on the basis of institutionalized gender discrimination. For those of you who may not know, the US women's soccer team makes only 38% compared to the male counterparts. And in November 2019, this case was granted class action status. Now, although this case is still ongoing, its outcome could have major implications into the future of gender equality and equal pay. Three-time Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee and Ravens cornerback Brandon Carr founded the Carr Cares Foundation to improve childhood literacy rates in communities that need it the most. Brandon has helped thousands of students reach their full academic potential by providing them with the educational tools and resources needed to become proficient readers. The Players Coalition, an NFL player-led foundation, began in 2017 with a collective goal of making an impact on racial equality and social justice at the federal, state, and local levels. They've been at the forefront of generating mass popular support and mobilizing action to correct the civic and systematic inequalities that exist in our country today. They've played an integral role in establishing greater relationships between law enforcement and community members by hosting town hall meetings across the U.S., holding educational seminars for community leaders, and leading advocacy campaigns for criminal justice reform. Three-time Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee and Ravens cornerback Brandon Carr founded the Carr Cares Foundation to improve childhood literacy rates in communities that need it the most. Brandon has helped thousands of students reach their full academic potential by providing them with the learning tools and educational resources needed to become proficient readers. He even launched an initiative called Lit Buddies, a program that excites and encourages students to read with the help of football-themed literary kits. This program has seen massive success at elementary schools in Kansas City, Dallas, and of course, Baltimore, all cities in which Brandon has played for during his NFL career. In my role as a community relations coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens, I have the incredible opportunity to be surrounded by athletes who are not only the best at what they do on the field, but also who care immensely about the communities in which they reside, play, and serve. I even have the honor of working with sports-focused organizations that are transforming the future of Baltimore and society at large. Choose to see sports beyond its traditional capacity. Yes, sports can be a great way to stay in shape, or something that entertains you and your friends every week, or maybe even just a fun hobby for you and your family to bond over. But understand, they are so much more than that. It's time that we shift our attention to the innovative solutions that the platform of sports can provide us. Remember, we love sports because they reflect our most important values. Teamwork, unity, common purpose, overcoming adversity, principles that are crucial to our collective success as a society, no matter the issue. And just think about some of the issues and challenges that we're facing in the 21st century. Poverty, war, racism, unequal access to education and natural resources, human rights, LBGTQ rights, climate change. These are things that affect us all. Moving forward, I want you to reimagine how you view, consume, and interact with sports. 
realize that sports are a tool, a modern tool that will make our world a better place and that can ultimately save our humanity. So treat it as one. I also challenge you to view sports as a legitimate contender in creating the change that we want to see in this world. Hold the platform of sports to the same standard and with the same regard that you hold government entities, leading nonprofit organizations, and top research universities to. Support those athletes that are taking a stand against racial injustice and inequality in our country. Donate your time or resources to those sport-led nonprofits that are fighting for women's rights and gender equality. Advocate for those sports teams that are using their platform to prevent senseless gun violence. Participate in a sport yourself and put the fundamental lessons that you learn from it into practice. When it comes to solving our world's most complex issues, it just might be time for a new approach. So why not let sports pioneer the way? Thank you.